Hey guys, it's Ollie from the Java Hub, and I'm about to make a highly requested tutorial, and that is how to shoot bullets. And the first thing you got to do for this tutorial is head on over to my website, and in the forums under the Java tutorial source code, you'll see number 11 shooting a bullet, and you'll find main.java and ship.java. So copy and paste these into your NetBeans, and once you've done that, um, you, we can begin. So pause this video, do that, and now I'm gonna. Sh now we're gonna start. I've got my two classes here, and if I just run to show you quickly, as you can see, I've got just this ship that moves, and it pretty much does nothing but move left and right. And we're going to make it so that the bullet sh the bullet shoots out of that like kind of gun bit at the top of the. top of the ship so let's begin first things first we're going to need some booleans to see if the bullet has been shot and also to see if the bullet is ready to fire again and what I mean by this is that we don't want the bullet to sort of move a little bit up and then be recreated like down here we want the bullet to go fully off the screen and then we want it only then can we fire another one so we'll need some booleans boolean ready to fire and also shot and shot will initially be false so now that that's done we're going to make our actually first we're gonna make a rectangle and the bullets gonna be a rectangle object and this will enable us to implement the intersect method which I showed you in the last tutorial and that's gonna make it so we can detect if it hits an enemy or if it hits uh, whatever else so let's create a rectangle but we're not going to initialize it yet because we're going to create we're going to initialize the rectangle when the spacebar is pressed so rectangle called bullet and that is just going to sit there for the moment and we're going to um go down into our spacebar method down here um actually I don't know if that's in the source code I might have just added it so if not, just add the spacebar if spacebar is pressed. And first we need to make an initial check to make sure ready to fire is set to true because otherwise it would it, it would never occur. So we need to say if bullet is equal to null and wait, sorry, ready to fire equals true. Now what this does is that when the program first runs or before the user presses the spacebar, rectangle bullet is not equal to anything, it's null. So this, when the spacebar is pressed for the first time, it's going to do this check and then it's going to set ready to fire equal to true. And now we can do stuff if ready to fire is equal to true. And this will be things, this will be firing the bullet. And this means we need some integers called bullet x and bullet y. And we can now say that the bullet y is equal to the this right here. I'm just going to copy and paste this. I'm just going to put in a comment. And by is equal to y minus 7. And that is the location of the ship. And minus 7 pixels, which is like on the gun or upwards towards the gun and then bx is equal to x plus 18 which is up and along so the bullet will appear out of the gun of the ship and I can just delete that there and now we can set bullet equal to something so bullet equals new rectangle and this new rectangle is going to have the coordinates bx, by and we'll make it 3 by 5 width and height that is and now that that's done we will also set shot equal to true and this is going to control when a method we're about to make is happening so um, first of all if spacebar is pressed and shot is true we want to draw the rectangle so if shot we can say um, g dot set color and we'll make the bullet black 
and then after that we're going to draw the bullet and it's going to be g dot fill rectangle with bullet which is our rectangle dot x so the x of the bullet then the y of the bullet then the width of the bullet and the height of the bullet there we go so when spacebar is pressed shot is equal to true and it's going to draw the bullet and now we need to make it so the bullet moves so we'll just make a method for that and we're going to call this method shoot public void shoot and it's going to take one line of code and that or two rather if shot so it only happens if shot is true and that is bullet dot y minus minus and this is going to access the y coordinate of the bullet and it's going to minus it um we can't put by here because by is only used once initially to set the initial location of the rectangle so if we put b dot y the bullet would just stay still where it is so we need to say the bullet dot y and now we can call this method in our run shot or shoot rather and now that that's done let's scroll up find our key released method we need the bullet to stop so when as soon as it's released we're gonna say ready to fire equals false and this means the user won't be able to fire another bullet just yet and then we're gonna say if the bullet dot y goes less than or equal to say minus 10 so if once it's minus 10 off the screen um, we'll make it minus 5 because that's the height of it once it's uh, off the screen fully then we're going to say we're going to set the bullet equal to um, we can't set it to null because that would create an error when we try and access it again so we're just going to create it set it to a new rectangle that is at zero 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 so kind of like a rectangle except it's nothing really and then we're gonna set shot equal to false so it'll stop drawing it and it will also stop minusing from the x-axis or y-axis rather and then we're gonna set ready to fire equal to true again so the user can fire again and that pretty much should be it for this if we press run now we can see that we can fire our bullet and we can only fire it again once it's gone off the screen and that is pretty impressive we can now fire bullets and since the bullet is made from the rectangle object we can use the intersects method so that if the bullet hits an enemy or something the enemy can be destroyed so we will probably do that in the next tutorial I'm gonna keep this, don't delete these classes, we're gonna keep using them and the bullet is going to hit an enemy and the enemy will die or something. Uh, but that will be in the next tutorial. But for now, guys, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and please sign up to the forums. Um, any help or questions you have, put it in the comments or put it in the help section in the forums. And people will be, myself and other members, will be more than happy to help you. Also, if you're a bit of an artist, go to the forums and uh, put an entry into the logo competition and the logo will be used everywhere on the java hub so it will be a pretty big thing if you win the competition also if you have twitter follow me on twitter if you're interested in the channel um the only thing i'll be posting on twitter is new updates to the site and to the tutorials and things and finally i'm working on something called text huts and i'm going to bring it up here um Oh, sorry about this. I'm going to pause the video. Uh, sorry about that, guys. I'm on holiday right now, and you have to kind of sign into the server. But anyways, uh, come to my website here, and this text up, text touch beta is coming soon. And this is basically going to be me doing tutorials, except in written form. And when you watch videos, the videos obviously don't change. They stay the same. And if it's on one subject and maybe I didn't explain it very well or you didn't see some of the code reading a tutorial you get far more clarification sometimes or most of the time really 
when you're reading it rather than watching it from a video, and it also means you have a chance to implement some of your own ideas, your own methods, things like that. But anyways guys, I'm rambling. Um, please subscribe. Thanks for watching guys.